more, one more. Listen, the cologne is overflowing in there and I can't get it to stop and it's going all over the floor. You gotta come and fix it quickly. I mean, it's just gonna flood the bathroom if you don't come. No, you don't have time to call somebody. You gotta come, come on. Come on, quickly. You gotta come right now. so sorry to interrupt you today, but I know you're busy. I saw somebody leave just a minute ago, but I need help. I need you. I'm not, you know me, Lamar. I'm not a complainer. I'm not a poor me person. But Lamar, Lamar, things are just so hard. And I've had people in the congregation lately that have just said some things to me. Lamar, and, oh. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Lamar, <laughs> Pastor, you know my heart. You know, in fact, you know I've served this church for so many years with all my heart. In fact, I've been diagnosed with an irrational heart. I've been told it's a medical diagnosis. And I just, you know that I have the heart of Paul because I've been told by so many church leaders that I'm appalling and I just thank them and I remain humble. But someone sat in my seat. Oh my word. Sunday. I thought I had it bad. I, I oh, have I have it. Oh, oh, here. Hey, Newfeld. Go, Chiefs. Woohoo! 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 Oh, hi, Lamar. Um, by the way, I'm not going to be able to help with a baptism this afternoon. Um, something's come up important. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Lamar, I need to talk to you. I was just back in our paint closet, which is so small to begin with, but now it's even small. We don't have any room in there. There are five, no, not five, five gallon buckets, but there are 37 five gallon buckets with something called epoxy something. And what do we do with it? There's nothing we can do with it. It's just taking up room back there. And then there are 13 one gallon buckets and a couple of five gallon buckets of paint that's supposed to be matching to the wall in the church. And it's supposed to be the same finish, but none of them, none of them are the same color or the same finish. We can't do anything with them. So, so, what it was, I know. I, I thought maybe we could put. Uh, you, you can't throw them away. So if we get some cat litter, if you can call, go to the board and get a new fund open up for getting cat litter, so we can get three hundred pounds of it, so we can fill these buckets and throw these buckets away, and then everything will clear that cost out, and everything will be wonderful. And Jose will be very happy. Hey. Brother Lamar, peace. Uh, how, how are you? We uh, we've been thinking, and man, we're just. We've been burdened by by something that we feel the Lord has brought to our attention regarding. You know, we've we've been involved in in uh, worship for a long time, and, and we just feel that there there's a little lacking in in our worship some some Sundays, and we we feel like um, we need to introduce interpretive dancing into the worship service. We saw how effective it was at Woodstock and how it got the crowd so involved. And we just think, brother, that it would be it would be a true blessing for, for the church. So Pastor, 2013, someone said that I had too much surprise in my tuna surprise no. to play casserole no. at the potluck. No, and they did it. I didn't hear no. it. I wasn't there. But oh, Lamar, I, know I thought I had it hard. I'm seeing it's that Miss Pastor. It was that Maybelline oh. Gifford and her daughter Claritin oh. Louise. Oh, right. They didn't like oh, yes. it. Yes. Well, Lamar, what I'm getting for? Should we pray? Hi, Lamar. Are you hungry? I got some crackers for you. Oh, if you need anything to eat. Okay? Lamar, another phone call, line one. Lamar, another call. Lamar, could you please have people quit calling so often? I'm trying to get some work done, please. Line one. Lamar, someone's at the door. I've gotten up 15 times. Could you get it this time? Lamar, line one. Lamar, I need Kathleen now! Lamar, another call. Lamar, someone wants to know if you'll go to lunch with them next year at this time. 
Lamar, call line two. Lamar, I'm going home. I'm I know you're glad so that much. she came in here to share the burden with it's me because I forgot my what my burden was heart. when I heard her. I, I forgot all about oh, oh, Wait a minute, I think I might be remembering You are a saint. Oh, you are I a saint. am a saint. You're probably just as I appalling as I am in your heart. <laughs> yes, I think I, I might be. Are. What do you think, Lamar? Hello. Oh. The kids make those for you. You can pick them up later. Okay, so I have good news and goodish news. The good news is that VBS was a hit. We didn't lose anyone. No one was allergic to our snacks. No one ate glue as a snack. Only one person broke a bone and five kids accepted the Lord. Can I get a whoop, 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 whoop? <laughs> Hey, Lamar, could you wash your hands? Just check it. No, that touch stick on, come on, Ellie, it's the third quarter. I'm missing the game, we're down by three. Lamar just preached for forever and now I can't get you to leave. I just wanna go watch the Packers game. Hey, Lamar, uh, didn't realize you were still here. Um, you know, I'm just trying to go watch the game. I'm surprised you're here. You're kind of a football fan, aren't you? Anyways, I just, I really wish Allie was more into the Packers games. And, you know, sometimes I think she doesn't like the Packers, and I really need that, you know? My family's all Packers, and I kind of need that in my, in my marriage, you know? She just she just doesn't seem to like it, though. You think you could talk to her about that in her marriage counseling? Just let her know, you know, that's kind of a requirement. Anyways, I was wondering, since, since we do kind of go a little long every now and then on Sundays, especially here in you know, football season. I was wondering if we could pull the big screen down and, you know, like watch the games on there. Maybe about 11.55, you stop preaching and we'll go get a couple snacks or something. And then like watch the game up there. It'd be a good, good environment, you know? We could all cheer and root for the same team, the Packers, of course. Anyways, let's go back to the marriage thing. I just, I think, I think she really needs, she really needs to listen to what you guys have to say, she just doesn't seem to get me. And I, I really think if you guys Taylor, could... It is time to go. Come on. See what I mean? Gosh. Can't wait till marriage counseling. Hey, Lamar. Do you think you could do me a favor and watch them for five or ten minutes so I can run some errands? in church and you know every week it's almost 90 degrees in there and I'm freezing can you please do something about that <sighs> okay I will try not to complain you know I wear you know warm clothes but really this is ridiculous 90 degrees try to try to do a bit better thanks you're late again we are always I don't care if the game is on, okay? You put it around this hand, you said you were gonna marry me, so I should be your top priority. Okay, right? so what about my right? priorities? I what be? about my priorities? You, the game was on. I am your only priority. Yeah, but the game is a priority uh, to me. You I'm should done. be able I'm to done. watch the game you know with me. We are having such a hard time expressing our feelings. We? With... Her? Are you kidding me? Look at this. She came on. I, I am done talking to him. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna express my feelings. Oh, I think first. I will too. No, nah, -uh, no. Not if I do it first. No. He always interrupts me. You see this? I do this not is... interrupt. You're, you're always I hope that. Me. No. Yeah, you're gonna like that, Lamar. Respond to that one. She just doesn't understand me. I don't. 
I don't even know how to handle you it. You did not just say that about me. Yes. Uh -huh. Look what you said about me. Are you serious? Okay, sorry I speak the truth. I speak the truth? That's no. just trash right or there. Or isn't lying a sin? It's not lying, but it's true. I don't... Oh, here we go. I'm done with this. We're getting nowhere, Lamar. I'll meet with you after you're hey, done with Hey, no, her. you cannot walk out of me. I'm, I'm done. done. This is ridiculous. No. Lamar, no. I'll see you tomorrow. No, that... See, Lamar, I just can't deal with this. Lamar, no worries. Seriously, no worries. We have a kid throwing up upstairs, but I have plenty of Lysol. I'm on it. I'm going to do a little cleaning in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of these for later. What's this? Ooh, interesting. Would it be okay if I borrowed this? That's awesome, thanks. You done with these? I'll pick these up. Kids that haven't moved. Um, it's still okay. We, I got a handle. Lamar, I hate to complain, but every time I go in that bathroom and I wash my hands and I put my hand up there in front of that dispenser, it does not work. And so I have to come out of the bathroom with wet hands or wipe them on my clothes or whatever. Uh, can somebody get that fixed, or can you tell me what to do to be sure that I get the paper towel place thing to work? Please. Thank you. Come on, Lamar, Lamar. Come on, let's go play in the ballroom. Everybody's in the ballroom. Let's go play. Come on. Lamar, uh, at this point, it's soaking into the carpet, so I'm just, I need to go home. Hey Lamar, thanks for seeing us so soon. Sorry. Alright, um, he's a little nervous, a little excited too. Um, but anyway, what we want to talk about is that uh, we want to let you know we hear you. Um, and we hear you when you talk about how it's important to get involved in the church to find your ministry, find something to get involved in, uh, your passion. And as you know, our, uh, our mom, your sister, she majored in music in college, and well, to be honest, she taught us everything we know. And so I think what we'd like to do, something we're real excited about here, is we'd like to lead worship. Or if not lead, maybe co-lead at least. Um, I think that'd be something we could definitely, definitely do. Uh, let's give you a little taste. Yeah, I like it. Ready? All right, ready? One, two, three. I cold. Really? Yeah, a little cold. Okay. Well, you know, that actually brings up a good point, though, Marcus. Um, you know, when playing instruments, Lamar, for, for church, it's important to make sure it's not too cold or too hot, because it's really bad on the instruments as hard as a performer. Uh, so we'll need to iron that out for Sunday morning, making sure that the temperature is just right how how we need it. Um, but let's let's try something different. All right. Okay. You leave this one. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> accidental slip up there uh you we'll can't again. you can't deny our passion though that's true we're no very part. we're very excited to, to do this um but uh anyway what what do you think and in fact wait, wait wait don't don't answer that don't you need to pray about it right you need to pray about it you know, talk about it uh think about talk about it with jeff especially make sure he's fully on board knows that we're gonna be taking over i think he'll be fine with it yeah, yeah. um and yeah oh some demands <laughs> not not demands yeah i don't not like demands, demands. maybe not non-negotiable terms yeah. that's better yeah. um for myself 
when I'm playing, I like to be able to move about the stage, kind of be uh, free to roam. So I want to make sure I have the green light to do that. Um, we mentioned the environment, making sure the, the temperature is right. Uh, anything um, for you? I know traditionally the uh, the brass have been in the corner by the baptism. Uh, I kind of prefer to be kind of in the center area, maybe up, up front. Uh, center stage, probably. That would be good. Yeah, yeah I, I'd like that. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, another thing. Yeah. Uh, solos. I don't know how you feel about solos. Maybe incorporating more of those. Um, a lot of flute solos. Maybe some trombone guess, solos from our Duets, even, as you just heard. Um, and maybe even a whole Sunday of just the flute. I think they'd like that. I mean, I, I know I'd, I'd like that. Some people. I would, I would love that. Um, so, why don't we uh, get out of here? I know you're busy. Um, but, um, yeah, talk about it with Jeff. I know that he uh, will be fully on board. Um, yeah, just talk about it with him and, and let us know. So, we appreciate it, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Lamar, I need your help. The peacock has escaped again. Come on, let's go.